Okay, so let's have a look at your essay on the use of green energy. Experts throughout the developed and developing world, and uh, not worldwide, okay, from the developing world, so delete wide, have debated the drawbacks and the benefits of sustainable energy sources. Okay, that's fine. I believe that the positive sides of this type of energy overcome their downsides. Okay, it's what you should be saying. I believe the positive sides of this type of energy outweigh the disadvantages. Okay. Um, but what I would say about this introduction, it's very short. Um, introductions are actually very important. They're the first impression you get of the essay. And also they are the chance where you for you to have a very clear thesis statement, which means your main argument and the main structure of your particular essay. So you should make that very clear in the introduction. Um, your first sentence is absolutely fine grammatically, but I have to say I've seen this sentence a hundred times before, so it's not original. So um, if you want to go, you know, if you want to get a higher score, um, you have to be a little bit more original than that. And also, I think you need to give a bit more background. Um, and in your thesis statement, you could say something like, this essay will argue that um, the benefits of using green energy far outweigh uh, any disadvantages. Okay, something like that. Okay, but you could have also given a little bit more background here. Not much. I mean, just even one more sentence would have helped your introduction. Okay. On the one hand, there is irrefutable evidence that sustainable energy sources such as solar and wind power can create a risk of energy shortage. Um, to be honest, I've seen arguments arguing exactly the opposite, that actually that's not true. So I'm not quite sure about your facts here and I'm not convinced by this particular argument, but I will go along with it for the essay. Um, you could say that, I wouldn't say irrefutable evidence, you're going to have to soften that, because as I say, I've, I've definitely heard the opposing side. Um, there, it, you could say there is some evidence, okay? because irrefutable is very, very strong, and it definitely is um, debatable, this point. So there is some evidence that sustainable energy sources such as solar and wind power can create a risk of energy shortage if they are not managed correctly. Okay, you've, you've said if, that's good. You have softened it slightly there. Okay. The central reason behind this is that they, are, that they mainly depend on nature. Delete the. So on nature, comma, uh, and... That is hard to control and predict. Okay. For example, a report by the UK government revealed that the amount of power, delete that, generated by wind in this country in 2018 was 20% lower than in 2016, while it was 10% higher than 2016. Okay, that's good. Thus, these variations create an instability in the British energy supply. You're going to have to soften that. So thus, these, these variations could create instability in the British energy supply. And the reason I say that is because um, wind is not the only source of green energy. So any downfalls or any shortfalls in energy could actually be supplemented by biomass or tidal energy or um, solar energy. So that's why that argument is a little bit weak. Okay. Um, on the other hand, undoubtedly, renewable energy sources are better, delete as, are better environmentally than, okay, so what you have to say, they are better environmentally than economically. Again, I take issue with that argument because there are some economic advantages to green energy in the long term. So I don't know what's, you know, um, if you've done any research for this essay, but I would say I'm not really convinced by some of these arguments. Okay. Right. This is largely because they are, okay, and spoiled is not the correct word. 
Um, unspoiled means unspoiled is like an area of nature that has not been um, cultivated. So what you'd have to say here is this is largely because they are natural and generate less environmental impact. So and generate a less environmental impact and have lower operational costs. OK, now this is why I'm a bit confusing, confused by your, your topic sentence in the first sentence at the beginning of your paragraph, because you're saying that they are better environmentally. Uh, maybe you mean they are equally. OK, it could be a grammar issue here, OK, because you said are better as. So perhaps what you actually mean in this first sentence is renewable energy sources are better economically sorry, are better environmentally and economically. And that would be a much better argument and more consistent with what you're saying. So I think the problem there is just the grammar, OK? Um, but it just shows how important grammar is because I actually got a completely different impression from your topic sentence. Right, generate less environmental impact and have lower operational costs. These advantages lead some countries to invest in more than one type of green energy. OK, good. For instance, Germany invests in hydro, solar and wind power. You don't need an S there, wind power without an S. For more, OK, you said so they, for more than 25 years. So you have to use the present perfect here because if an action started in the past and is still continuing, use the present perfect. So, for instance, Germany has invested in hydro, solar and wind power for more than 25 years. Um, and nowadays, OK, the, your punctuation is a bit off there. It should be for 25 years, comma, and, and then no comma, because that's connecting to the second part. Go directly, and nowadays, comma, these sources are responsible for supplying 70% of the energy consumed in this country. OK. As a result, OK, not of it, as a result of this, Germany is purchasing only 10% of energy from foreign countries and its maintenance costs OK, so its maintenance costs for renewable power plants are 20% lower than its cost in thermoelectric power plants. OK, very good. That's a very good... Um, um, you supported your argument very well there with some good um, statistics. So that's very good. And I can see now that your topic sentence definitely means... Um, that you, what you could have said in, in your topic sentence is... Renewable energy sources are equally beneficial for the environment and the economy. OK, and then, then that sentence becomes very clear. OK. Um, now, the other thing I want to say about this paragraph, um, it would be quite good for you to provide a concluding sentence to the paragraph, to, to just say in brief what the whole paragraph is saying, OK? That often can clarify, so it's very, very useful. So you could say, for example, it is evident that um, green energy can be um, economically viable or it can be cost effective or something. Just, just a short sentence to sum up the whole paragraph. OK, to conclude from the arguments and given examples, that although renewable energy sources produce an un, un, unpredictable amount of power, it is possible to deal with that problem okay, by adopting two or more types of green energy. Yes, that's absolutely true, and that's exactly what I said before, but you didn't mention that in your first main paragraph. So you need, if you're going, don't add any new information in a conclusion make sure your conclusion is just based on the evidence and arguments you've already given. You shouldn't be adding a new idea right at the end. So you should have mentioned that fact, which is a good fact, in your first main paragraph. Okay. Um, 
So after your introduction, I mean that, that your second paragraph, okay? So be very careful of that. If you just suddenly add extra information in the conclusion, it's a little bit um, confusing. Furthermore, this type of energy can contribute to the nation's energy independence. Okay, um, that's good, but I would say furthermore, this type of energy can contribute to a nation's, a nation's um, energy independence. That's fine. Yes, that's a good point. Okay, overall well done. You have answered the question and you have supported your arguments. Uh, just consider what I said about both your, I think the areas to work on really, um, the introduction and as I said, don't add extra information in the conclusion. Make sure you've already said that um, and your conclusion should then just be a, a logical result of what you've already argued. Okay, but overall, well done. Okay, so now let's have a look at um, the second task uh, about the changes in an island. The maps illustrate some changes uh, in an island after it has it has been developed. Um, okay, after it has been developed for tourism. Um, okay, that's good. You've introduced the topic. That's fine. The island is surrounded by the sea. Um, my only issue with this is that an island by its very nature is always surrounded by the sea because that what an island that's what an island is um so it's kind of like a bit of unnecessary or obvious information um okay so in the beginning there was only local vegetation so you could start this sentence with um Originally, the island was completely unspoilt and natural, and there was only local vegetation, something like that, okay? However, it became a tourist, not touristic, it's a tourist uh, area, after the construction of six new structures, okay? I'm not quite sure what you mean by six new structures, I, I see more than six. So um, I, you don't really need to say how many anyway. You could just say after the construction of, of many new structures or something like that. The map shows that one reception was added to the middle of the island. Okay. Added sounds a bit, I would just say was built in the middle. Um, but I, it's, it's not too bad added. But I probably would say the map shows that an, that, um, that one reception building was or one reception was built in the middle of the island while a restaurant was okay you said was built there so it's okay all right that, that i'll accept was added while a restaurant was built in okay was built to the north of it so it has to be two a pier that allows people to access the island by boat was constructed in the southern area and there is a vehicle track that connects it to the other buildings. That's a very good sentence. Very nice. Other differences. Okay, um, if you say other, that's plural. So if you want it to be singular, you have to say another. So another difference is that some huts were constructed in the west and Oh, you're saying of the reception, so you'd have to say to the, the west and the east of the reception and the restaurant. Okay, that's fine. In addition, footpaths were built around the huts to serve as a link to other buildings and, and to the beach that is situated on the island's western part. Okay, that's very good. Nice sentence. It can be seen that a swimming point was created in front of the beach okay i'm not sure if they created a swimming, boot, swimming area i'm not quite sure but you could say a swimming point was designated in front of the beach okay the eastern part of the island where there is a concentration of local vegetation remained almost unchanged after the island's development very nice sentence actually i think this is very good i think this is a very good um, summary of the picture well done
and it's it's very it reads well and it's nice and clear okay